what's up everybody? My name's Russ, rwgresearch.com. So check it out, Post Motor Bill Off 2017. That's where we're at, we're at the end. These are the final results. And my buddy, Dyden, is going to share the results. So let's see it. Post Motor Build Off 2017. What's up guys? So I'm here to announce the winners. I am the acting uh, interim CEO and president of Abisu Front. So um, I've been asked to announce the winners since I'm su supplying a prize, I guess. So um, man, this year was really awesome. I, I was actually really bummed I couldn't, I couldn't participate. I was kind of upset. I'm so busy. I'm basically working three jobs, and so it's really difficult. I, I just swamped with time. However, I watched you guys all participate, and so I lived vicariously through a lot of you. Um, and so for third place, I got to give... Uh, I gotta give third place to everyone. It's too hard to, to decide one person. So I believe that we're giving out uh, just like small prizes. Russ has a, a, a box of things and uh, for people in North America. And so everybody's a winner in my eyes. So congratulations, guys. And for second place, uh, you know, like I said, it's a hard decision, but I gotta go with uh, Illustrious One or Rich C. Uh, congratulations, Rich. Your SCG, it was like an SCG design, it was really cool, Searle effect generator, and it was done with, you know, it, not machined parts or anything like that, so it was really cool to see, and then the little um, magnetic, I guess uh, it would be a phase lock magnetic rotor, or uh, yeah, the, the rotor on the top was a, was a really cool touch at the end, and um, yeah, so congratulations on that. And then for first place, this is a gentleman who's participated in the Pulse Motor Build Off for quite some time, as far as I remember. And, uh, and he had a really cool interplanetary rotor design. So it was to prevent uh, lens effect, or at least mitigate it or, or, or decrease it. And it seemed like it worked. He also had a very transparent um, circuit design. I don't know if it completely er eliminated the lens effect, but it's very cool. So Rodrigo, congratulations, man. Rodrigo Luke, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. It's pretty awesome, guys. I'm really impressed. Like I said, I was, I was kind of bummed I couldn't join in. There's some great builds, um, some funny stuff. Uh, it was just all, overall, I mean, the, the people who failed and still showed what, what they did, especially some of the elaborate designs. Like I just want to shout out to everybody, but limited time so there'll be videos at the end of this but uh i was super impressed it's really inspiring and i can't wait to to do it again next year hopefully if all goes well with the with my business i'll make an even better prize and and sponsor it even more and uh and find any way i can to engage with the community and and, and really um you know I, I love this community what can i say uh, the makers and doers engineers and creators that's uh, that's where my heart's at so um so much love to you all and talk soon okay welcome back thank you Dadan, for taking the time out of your busy schedule and doing that i appreciate it i like to uh you know let others see that this is uh very encouraging uh you know these ideas these pulse motor builds off they are for fun, and they're also to give yourself some motivation, as we saw from a few of the people, which actually you haven't seen yet. You'll see those next. You know, there's some motivation to do stuff that you normally wouldn't do, even if it's for other projects, which is kind of why I wanted to leave this open this year. I just wanted whatever you want to do, you can do it, enter it. And uh, there wasn't originally prizes. Uh, actually, where are they? My good buddy Vic. Uh, I will I will show the um, look in the description. I'll show you the link to his uh, YouTube. He just started it. He's got a small shop. He's trying to put some stuff together. The box must be outside or something. But he sent me a box of random goodies, and I would like everyone who participated, even those outside the U.S., um, go ahead and put your information. Uh, send me a personal message on the open-source-energy.org forums send me a personal message under the name that you posted your video on so i know it's you send me your address that you'd like me to ship you something and i'll do it i don't know about the rest of the world uh but especially us and canada i'll send 
the prizes. Thank you to Vic, and again, check out his YouTube and what he's what he's doing. He's just starting, but he's he's. Uh, I don't know what he's got planned. He's got big plans, though, and it's kind of exciting to see. So thank you, Vic, for, for doing that. Um, so that's it. I'm going to roll all the videos from this year. Um, you know, like uh, like Dyden said, everybody's a winner because it's just about having fun. Get yourself out there. Get yourself doing something. Motivate yourself to do something new. Uh, test your own ability. You know, like for me, I had I had many parts here that I had printed out. You know, and these were these were some oh broke that one. These were some test pieces to my little motor, and it's happily running at work there um, on the shelf in the in the light. And uh, you know, I, I I stressed myself out pretty good there, but it, yet I accomplished something that I wanted to do. And the only time I'd really do it is whenever I have these competitions. So friendly competition of helping, living, learning, sharing, loving, and being kind to each other and showing off some cool projects. All right, thanks to everyone. I'm going to roll all those videos, and that's it. We'll see you guys next year. I don't know when it'll be, but we'll get back to it again. Peace out. God bless. Bye-bye. Uh, I am almost running out of time, but this is my PMBO entry for this year. Well... I decided to do something a little different. Um, there is a, a, this rotor, this spinning rotor inside of the main rotor, and I have alternating north and south poles, and I have two of them, and here are a magnet that is nor north pole. Uh, I have just one coil. Because the um, I broke the other one and I I don't have enough time to print one and wind it. This is the circuit that I used used for this PMBO. This is a house sensor and input voltage is around 14 volts. And I'm using a voltage regulator here using some Zener diodes. Um, and here is my load. And the idea behind this machine is that I'm I'm using this magnet to to drive the machine, and I'm going to collect energy from this spinning magnet. And here I'm trying to I'm trying to trick the lens effect because when when I have the lens effect, uh, instead of of the force be applied against the main rotor it will be applied mainly against the secondary rotor so this will gonna spin and this the main rotor will, will not uh, it's not going to slow it down it's running now at full speed it's producing this waveform The input voltage and the amperage. I added a small light bulb as a low 12 volts light bulb, and there was no impact in the rotor. And even if I short it, I'm gonna short this. That's interesting what it result.
So guys, once again, Paul's motor build off has come to an end. Today, I have to say that I did not have a success. However, I was very successful. I'm getting quite a bit done on a prototype that I've been working on. Well, I just started working on it for the contest because it gave me the excuse to get something done. And I needed the deadline. Oh, man, do I ever need deadlines. Anyway, so the pulse motor, which doesn't function, um, has a X and Y axis. Um, what it's for is propulsion. I'm going to use the conservation of angular movement to make that thing turn over the six foot diameter sphere sitting on a pocket of air. So one little project to finish a big project. So congratulations to whoever won. Um, my partner in crime has successfully made a great program to control the X and Y. But that's where we're at. And if you continue to follow, I will keep working on this because I need this. Have a good time, guys. Good evening. I hope everyone had a good Halloween. I'm going to go through a bunch of parts here that made up my pulse motor build off entry. I had some last minute calamity, so things didn't really turn out as well. But don't worry, this video won't be without reward, so just bear with me for a second here. Now, things all started here at the three stage cap dump. Um, go over that another day. That was dumping into this water cell here, which cut down here, come up in this bubbler. Bubbles would come up mix with a little bit of dish soap so they would actually form bubbles and the spark gap would ignite them here. Uh, the spark gap was supplied by the Tudeschi multiplier which was fed in four stages by this high frequency air core transformer you see in front of you otherwise known as a rodent coil. Um, the primary of the rodent coil is just tucked into the center there and that's what was driving it. And pulsing that was this pulse width modulator circuit here uh, feeding this IGBT. It was actually my signal transistors and my uh, protection diodes I blew. I hooked it up backwards. Blew the whole thing up and I got no more signal diodes. So, oh well. Now there was supposed to be a Faraday cage that went around here to collect the EMP. Um, it wasn't really going to supply too much power, I don't think. If this design looks semi-familiar, it's because this is the same entry from four years ago. A little bit more refined. I almost had it this time, but obviously this isn't something you can work on late at night. Bang, 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 bang. Not unlike this little guy. So here was going to be the load. And uh, no one's named him yet, really. So I switched it around and I just put a 555 on here instead of what I was doing. There you go. Cheers. Hope everyone had fun. Later. Look at that footwork. Put the links for all this stuff in the description. Cheers. Hello, greetings from Greece. Here I have a pulse motor, works as a generator. The motor ran up to 8,000 RPM powered by DC 33 volts consuming 5 watts and gives output DC 52 volt loaded with LED lamps there are three pickup coils
and the rectifier states gives voltage output to cap. We see voltage input red voltmeter voltage output blue voltmeter LED light by back EMF second LED lamp light by pickup coils. I have also a switch for powering the motor by the capacitor voltage output. What a thought! Voltage output to voltage input defies the laws of physics. Nah. Thanks for watching. My entry to the 2017 Pulse Motor Build Off. Let me explain what we have. We have an 18 volt battery to supply the power to feed the coil. The 9 volt battery runs a little circuit board with a MOSFET that isolates a back EMF that is collected from the coils into an ultra fast capacitor that then gets fed into the capacitor bank where we can actually measure the voltage capacity. Down here is our basic crank system uh, and we have a gear ratio and we have a stepper motor up there which is also a generator so we have four bridge rectifiers that collect the energy that gets stored in this capacitor then we can actually have a light uh, for a little while. Uh, pretty much this is all mechanical so when this is actually pushed out it turns a crank over there and pretty much that's it. This is our amp meter that's going to indicate how much amp we're pulling from the battery and let's start this baby up.
video you want, a video you shall get. As you might have guessed, I blew up Rick's little uh, driver board, so I had to improvise. This timing control of the hull sensor was fixed, which makes it a booger to start and to ramp up the speed. But, I have a 3D printer so I might make a little trigger holder for this that I can adjust. This bulb you're seeing here is the back EMF off the coil. Okay, so we hit the pulse limit. We'll turn that down a little bit. Run the guts out of it. Ouch, a little hot. Alt Motor Build Off 2017. Cheers, everyone.